Hey everyone, I'm Milan and I am the director of copy here at Organics. And I am back with an update on this little experiment that I have decided to undertake. It's actually a big experiment. It's kind of a life-changing experiment. It's my 21-day smartphone detox. Now, day one, I let you know how things were going. That was the first day that I actually ditched my smartphone for a dumb phone. Why is it a dumb phone? Because all it does is flip. It pretty much is just there to help me send a brief text because in order to send a text message, I have to hit the button 20 billion times to get the letter that I want. Um, I can make a phone call and I just found out that I've got a cool little radio on that thing, AM, FM. Pretty awesome, not. Um, so really I decided to do this to start this journey because of the fact that I realized that I was way too connected, way too tuned in. And um, over the past couple days, today is officially day three of my, my detox journey, and um, it's been rough. You know, a lot of the emotions that I've been feeling um, are really difficult to admit to or even express. There's my phone, not my smartphone, mind you. But the fact is, you know, I've dealt with, I've been dealing with feelings of irritation, frustration, anxiety, sadness, and it's all coming from seemingly out of nowhere. But I did a little research, I did a little digging, and um, if you Google smartphone addiction, uh, one of the top three search results is uh, from Wikipedia. And uh, Wikipedia calls it a mobile phone overuse. And if you take a look, you'll see that Wikipedia describes exactly what I'm describing to you as symptoms very similar to substance abuse from um, detoxing or from stopping abruptly using a harmful substance. So it is an addiction. It's an addiction that many of us have. I'm not alone in it. That part made me feel good, but it did make me really, really wonder, you know, how far reaching are these effects? I want to talk more about that in later videos, but I could go on and on about how I felt and what's been going on or how I see things, but I thought it would be a little bit different if I brought someone in that's, that's really close to me, that's been able to see um, what I've been going through and you could get a totally different viewpoint. I'm gonna bring on my son Dallas. He's 10 years old and he really, really, come on over, come on over, yep, 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 you can come in. He, he's, he's a smart kid and you know, when it comes to kids, you're gonna get the truth. So, Dallas, what do you think about this whole smartphone detox that I'm doing? What are your thoughts? And, um, I mean, what, so far? Today's day three. So, what would you have to say if you had to sum it up in a nutshell? Well, I would think it's really helped the family because i um, not being connected. I usually um, catch myself sometimes trying to get your attention when you're maybe on your phone doing who knows what. Um, like, hey, mom, mom, sometimes I just can't grab your attention. Sometimes if I walk in your room um, and you're on your phone, I don't know. Like, sometimes I'm like, hey, mom, trying to get your attention, same thing. But um, it's hard, too, because if we're going other places, mm -hmm. you don't have immediately your smartphone. Oh, um, Google Maps on your, th on your smartphone. Um, you have to print out the direction, so that's yeah. a lot harder. So we did that, though. Let's yeah. talk about how that actually happened. We had an appointment that we had to go to. In order to get there, you know, without my smartphone, a.k.a. the only source of GPS that we have in my car, you know, I had to go onto MapQuest.com, and I put in the address, printed out the directions, and how'd that work for ourselves? Well, there was at one point where we got lost. Um, I had to read all the directions, um, it was, it was very tough. I'm used to just, just having the, um, smartphone there, mm -hmm. uh, Google Maps just telling you where to go. I can take a nap if I want to, but <laughs> then now I gotta just, like, stay on the directions. Yeah. Um, so it's, it was pretty tricky. We got lost once. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot, there, um, it's a lot harder. Yeah. And it's a lot easier for the family. 
so well okay so right now let, let's 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 talk about the the harder part i would like to hear why you think it's easier but the harder part has to do with the fact that have you ever known life without gps have you ever have we ever not had internet um or anything like that well one time when i was younger but that like i didn't really care this flashlight but oh I, the, I, the power went out yeah right. the power went out but um phones were still working my whole life i've grown up with um just ipad um iphone uh -huh. everything uh connected to the internet um i mean once or twice i've done or more than once or twice when i was younger i used to do paper copy but then as i got older i got electronics and then that's been kind of what i do mm -hmm. yeah right so you've only pretty much known the internet and instant yeah. access and instant I need this now, so I'm going to go online and get it. Or yeah. I'm going to go on my phone and, and get it. So yeah. that's a very good point. Now, what has been the reaction of people when they've seen your mom with a dumb phone or AKA a flip phone? How, what have people been saying what, well, in your opinion or your point of view? What have you seen? Well, one person was, uh, was like, what is this? <laughs> like, what in the world is this? Can I get some games on here? Yeah. Um, some other people were like, oh. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, some other people are like, like, what is this? Are you going back to the 1980s? What is this? Yeah, yeah. So, so a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people laughing at me. Mm -hmm. A lot of people asking, what in the world is wrong with me? What, what am I doing? Yeah. One person I remember um, even saw me frazzled with, you know, how I typically am at the end of the day with a bunch of boys. Um, <laughs> And I do have, uh, by the way, I have four boys, ages 10, 6, 4, and 2. And um, when uh, he asked me, you know, he said he was going to be sending out a group text. And, you know, I said, ooh, so um, this is my phone. And I showed him my flip phone. I said, if you could just send a message with 160 characters or less, I'd really appreciate that. No emojis, no, no, <laughs> no fancy stuff. Yeah. And he looked at me, and I felt like he was thinking, this poor woman can't afford a That's smartphone. Funny. So lots of different reactions, but overall it's a feeling of, it's, it's anxious. It's still that anxiety that I'm feeling. It's still, you know, just the, the mood swings. I thought it was just me, but I know it's now related to me not having access to what it is that I need when I need it or what I, what it is that I want mm -hmm. when I want it. So it's definitely something that is um, difficult. And so I've decided, thank you very much, Dallas. I really appreciate your input yeah. here. Mm -hmm. I've, I've decided that I am going to do something to help relieve this anxiety. One of the things that I need to do for me just to better myself that I have been um, definitely pushing off to the back burner is, you know, exercise. I have not been engaging in any regular, consistent exercise like I need to. And so just in general, that's not going to be healthy. But um, making such a big change like this, I know it's going to help relieve some mental stress to get into something and get into it, you know, regularly, consistency, start from, from square one since I'm out of shape and, you know, move my, move my way up. So I decided that I'm going to start to train to run a 5k race now for those of you who are like me and need to know how far a 5k <laughs> race actually is uh, it's 3.1 miles and um i want to do it but i'm not ready to just run and literally run and do it so um there's a, a website called c25k.com they have a great app which i cannot use for the next few days <laughs> because of the fact that I am doing the smartphone detox. However, you go online, you can print out the, the system. And basically, if you have three days a week and 30 minutes each day, you can train to run a 5K race. And the exercise or the running starts small. For example, the first week for you know three days, you commit to a brisk five-minute walk. You run for 60 seconds. And then you walk for 60 seconds, you run for 60 seconds, you walk for 60 seconds, and you alternate this for 20 minutes, and then you end it with a brisk five-minute walk. So you do this for three days, pick your times, whatever works best for your schedule, you can do it, and it helps you literally get your butt off the couch 
and get moving. And that's what I need to do because I want to be healthier. I want to relieve some of this stress and I just, I want to, to make this detox really work for me. And I want to experience all the good things um, that come from it as well. So I'll talk to you more about this. You know, follow me. Let me know what you guys think about this. Have you guys ever tried the C25K app or this, they call it interval training where you're running, walking, running, walking. Have y'all ever tried that? What do you think? Um, what are your thoughts so far about this smartphone detox? You heard from my son. He's just 10 years old, but this is his his take on the whole thing, and it's pretty interesting. I haven't heard it. So um, lots more to share, lots more cool stuff to come. I really am interested in how your brain is affected when you make um, these changes with the smartphone, really how much your brain is affected when you use the smartphone. There's a lot of studies, a lot of good research, interesting stuff on that. And as a copywriter, that's my job to do a lot of research and bring all the good stuff to you. So I'm going to do that right here with my personal life and my personal journey and continue to bring all this this great stuff to you so keep watching thank you for watching click like um and subscribe click the little bell at the bottom so that you don't miss a single episode um, our youtube channel is amazing so just just don't miss it 